my hair is a wreck. Don't don't mind it, please. I need to sh take a shower, but I want to do this first because I have great lighting. I love this place with the lighting. I am just like, thank you for good lighting. So I did not realize this was even a tag until just like a little while ago. And it's the booktube newbie tag. And I was like, eh, it's only been like a year. I'm just going to do it for fun because I'm still kind of building this. And my dog is helping me. <gasps> look, Heidi, look at the camera. Look right there. Look right there. No, not the person. Why did you start this channel? I started this channel, well, this is actually my third channel. Third. Third. Third channel. My first one was for, like, fun music videos my friend and I did together. Mostly just, like, um, not like... Oh, let's make a music video, pretend to sing along. But we would go do fun things like horse riding and video it and put it to music. That was for that. My second one was just usually like the behind the scenes and fun vlogs from the other one. And this one I decided I really wanted to do something different. I wanted to make videos because I love making videos. Like this is, I love it. And so I was like, what should I do? And so I saw a lot of like booktube things. And so I was like, what if I do a channel that is mostly booktube, but then I can throw in a few things in with it. Which if you look through my videos, you will see there are some that are like little fun artsy videos. Or there is like a couple gaming videos. Which I might do again if I ever can get them to work. But that is why I started this channel, because I wanted to start fresh and I wanted to try booktube because I absolutely adore books and I thought you know it, it's a great start it's something to start off of and my dog is like trying to kill me I think I feel like I went way deeper into that question than I really had to but oh well question two is what are some fun and unique things you can bring to booktube uh me that's about all like <laughs> this is like that question people ask you of tell us three fun facts about yourself and I'm like me? Fun facts? What? There, there's a correlation somewhere there? Usually it's I'm allergic to tree nuts and coconut, I've never broken a bone in my life, and something else that I just pull out of my head in the last minute because I don't really know that many fun facts about myself. <coughs> Question number three! What are you most excited for about this new channel? Technically it's out. You're old! <laughs> but I'm most excited to just do this, to make videos, to have fun, do whatever I want to do with this channel is what I'm most excited about because it's mine. And yes, I am swinging a squirrel around. Number four, why do you love... Number four is why do you love reading? Reading takes me to a whole new place. You can go into the land of werewolves, you can do whatever you want, basically. I totally lost my train of thought, so I just kind of like skipped over other things. You get to do so many things when you read that you wouldn't be able to do in your real life. Like I'm in Maine. Like Maine is awesome, but it's not fighting dragons, reading, I get to experience everything else besides that. Number five is what book or series got you into reading? I don't really have an answer to that because I have been reading since I could read. In kindergarten I was at a second grade level already because my parents would read to me every night and I just really got into reading. By the time I got to kindergarten, I was at a second grade level and I was reading everything I could get my hands on. I feel like the first series that really stood out to me, I guess, was when I was like six and it was the Animal Arc series. Um, but once I got into like middle school, it was the Phantom Stallion series. And for high school, it was the Wolves of Mercy Falls series. So there have been different stages in my life that things have stood out to me more and so that's what I'll answer with those questions. Question number six. What things would you ask your favorite booktubers? I honestly don't have an answer to this question right now. I feel like my questions I would ask would just be to get to know them better, not like anything to do with booktube or anything. Just be like, hey, what do you like to do? How's it going? Are you doing okay? How's the job? How's the life? And I feel like that would be more of the things that I'd want to ask them than book two questions, honestly. Number seven is what challenges do you think starting a booktube channel will be the hardest to overcome? And that one is a recurring one, and that is making and uploading videos on time. 
Number eight is when did you start reading? I kind of already answered this. I was like a kid, my parents would read to me every night. And about when I was like two or three, they started having me read it back to them. So that is kind of when it started happening, and it's just been a thing that goes on and on and on since then. Uh, number nine is where do you read? Everywhere. I just walked down the street the other day to go to my class reading a book as I'm walking down the street. So, you know, that was a really bad decision. I almost ran into a pole like three or four times, but, you know, I was reading and I was enjoying it. So I'll read wherever. And the final question is, what kind of books do you like to read? The question, the question, the, the question, the, what? The answer to that is practically everything. I don't really like um, reading horror stories just because I'm not a really big horror fan. But other than that, I will pretty much read anything. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Bye.